Keller Williams Realty. I'm going to talk to you about what we're seeing in the market right now. It's the Wild West out there. <laughs> That's Emily, everyone. So there's a lot of talk and buzz in the market. Shift is a word that you may be hearing a lot of. Prices are, are higher than they've been in a long time. We bottomed out in our area in 2012. And that was the lowest, the low we saw after the market came down in 07, 08. And we've been going up steadily since then. It's 2019. That's seven years. Typically, the real estate market is cyclical. And then historically, it runs in seven-year cycles. So right now, we're starting to feel the, the, that things are transitioning and that we are going to start seeing maybe prices fall a little bit. We are feeling it soften that the market is transitioning more towards a buyer's market as opposed to a seller's market. It's nothing to get fearful of. Don't run around like Chicken Little, the sky is falling or anything. <laughs> so it's just going more towards a balanced market, which is okay. That's a good thing. You know, it's not a bad thing. So don't start thinking that we're, that we're going to see uh, massive drops in values or anything along those lines. And I do truly believe that people with, the, with correct information and a good education will make the best decision for themselves. And that's what this video is about right now. So let's listen to these, these numbers that came out for Sarasota and Manatee County. Combined closed sales in the two area county, the two county area decreased by 17.2% from January of 18 to January of 19. So closed sales dropped 17.8%. That means less properties are coming off the market. The combined two county inventory increased year over year in January by 12.3%. So January of 18 to January of 19, there's 12.3% more homes for sale on the market. So that means that there's more homes available and less homes coming off the market, which means that the inventory is increasing. That's why we're seeing the talk about going towards a buyer's market. Now in Manatee County, we're still at 4.4 months for single family homes, which that means uh, if we were to stop taking listings today and we took no more listings, it would take 4.4 months to sell everything that's on the market. And in Sarasota County, we jumped to 5.4 months of inventory on the market. So that means we stopped taking listings, it takes 5.4 months to sell everything that's on the market. So at six months or less, you're in a seller's market. At six months or more, you're in a buyer's market. So we are seeing the transition more towards a buyer's market. It's gonna be more balanced. Now, what does that mean if you're a seller? As a seller, that means that there's gonna be more options for the buyers, there's gonna be more um, power as a buyer to negotiate the price of the sale. It's a supply versus demand thing. It's a basic economic principle that if there is more supply and less demand, prices tend to fall. If there's more demand and less supply, then prices tend to increase. We've been in that high demand, low supply situation for a while in the seller's market and now we're going more towards a buyer's market, a balanced market. So again, it's nothing to get fearful about. Just listen to these numbers right now. The median sales price in the two counties, Manatee County for single family is 309000 Sarasota family increased to 286.6. So prices are still going up. We are still in a healthy market. Things are changing though. So right now, what we see for pending sales in the in January was single family pending sales decreased by 11.3 percent in Manatee County, and in Sarasota County they decreased by 5.5 percent, and condo pending sales decreased by 16.1 percent in Sarasota, while Manatee County decreased by 15.3 percent. So the th what we're seeing is that more properties are coming available on the market and less properties are coming off the market, which is giving more options for buyers. So if you are thinking about selling, right now is the time to do it if you're looking to get the most money for your property. It doesn't mean that as more inventory comes on the market that your home is actually worth less. What it does mean though is that to be competitive or be against what's on the market, you may have to take less money for your home. Things are on the market longer right now. We're at 51 days. Uh, on average between the two counties. 
and till contract, so we are seeing things on the market longer. We are seeing pending sales down, we're seeing inventory up, and we're seeing closed sales down. So that these are all signs that we're going to see a shift more towards a buyer's market. Now, um, interest rates, those affect you as a buyer, and what it means is if the interest rate increases 1% over what it is today, typically your buying power is decreased by 10%. So if you're approved for a home at 300,000 right now and at today's interest rates and an increase in interest rates happened uh, to increase it to a full point above where they are now, you would only qualify for a $270,000 home. So if you're on the fence right now thinking about waiting until the prices drop, it's a double-edged sword. If prices drop and interest rates increase, you're gonna have the same payment at $270,000 as opposed to if you were to buy something today's interest rates and you were approved at $300,000. They'd be the same, same payment. So it's a double-edged sword for you if you're looking to wait and no one knows exactly what's gonna go on with that whole situation. So just a, just a little overview, quick overview of what's going on in the market. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. The number's 941-536-4351. Thanks for watching, everyone.